Whenever you want to find a remainder, when the set of numbers is given to you and you want to check whether it's divisible by the given number or not, you start with the divisor and you want to find at least one prime factor of 1261. So you clearly see it's not divisible by 2. It's not divisible by 3 either because the sum of digits here is 6 plus 2 plus 1 is, is 9 which is a multiple and after that I'm getting 1. 1 is not a multiple of 3. So 5 does not divide this now because it's not ending with 5 or 0. 7 does not divide this number either because to check for 7 what do we do is we take the last digit 1, we double it and then subtract it from the remaining digits I have. So 126 minus the double of 1 is 2. So 124. Again you can follow the same process. Double of 4 is 8. Removed from the remaining part gives me 4. So 4 is not a multiple of 7. So the whole number is not a multiple of 7. Now we try with the next prime number which is 11. To check for 11 you just take the digits at the alternate place. 2 plus 1, 3, 6 plus 1, 7. Their difference is again not a multiple of 11. So 11 does not divide this. Now what do we do? We check by the last number maybe, yeah, 13. How to check for 13? 13 times 100 is 1300, yeah. And from 1300, if I'll remove this number and if I figure out that the remaining part is also a multiple of 13, then I can confirm. Let's check it out. The remainder here has to be 39 and I know 13 times 3 is 39, yeah. So which means means I can clearly see that 100 minus 3 is 97. So I'm very confident that 97 times 13 is this given number 1261. 13 times 97 gives you 1261. I know that upon dividing this whole set of numbers, I see this 97 appearing and I also know that this 13 will divide this 91. Yeah, so there is no remainder. Why? Because it's the exact multiple. Hence, we can be confident that there will be no remainder because I could simplify and I, I could cross out every everything from the bottom. Thereby, there is no remainder here upon division. The answer is zero.